being shot several times. Also developing this morning a possible... We believe right now that we do have one male who is deceased as a result of the, uh, of the gunfire. For legal reasons, what you're about to see might or might not be true. I guess we'll never know. Season 3, Episode 1, Lady in Black. Episode 1, The Come Up. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Welcome to Season 3, Episode 1, The Come Up. This season is going to be about how I got shot in The Lady in Black. For those who have not watched my TikTok and you don't know who The Lady in Black is, go ahead and go down my TikTok and watch it at Noe915. So... Let's take it all the way the fuck back. Now, I don't want people to think that I got shot because I was just some hoe on the street doing shit that I wasn't supposed to do. Like, no, like, let's take it back. Let's go all the way back, right? I was eight years old. I always had this mind of a hustler that I just wanted to make money. I grew up from a family that was not necessarily, we weren't poor, but we just couldn't afford a lot of things, you know, so we was always late on rent and on light and stuff like that. So I would always be out there in the streets making money. I was eight years old. I sold a broken microwave for 35 bucks. That's how I knew I had something. I started my own little car wash business, my own mowing grass business at eight, nine. I'm cutting people's grasses. Uh, I did all that till about, I was about like 11, right? Like 11 or 12, I had, we moved neighborhoods. So I was like, damn, how the fuck am I going to make money again? You know, da, 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 da. Well, we lived in front of the apartment kids and this one, Hurricane Katrina had hit, right? Hurricane Katrina had hit, and I remember I told my mom, mom, please give me, give me, give me like a camera, because I always wanted to be in film, right? And I was like, mom, give me a camera, please, give me a camera, you know? And then for Christmas, she bought me like this little hoe-ass camera, right? Like, ugly as fuck, right? She was like 240p, <laughs> you know? Like, it was just like, it just looked bad, you know? She gave me this camera, went to my friend's house that I knew, and I would be like, hey, put on some porn. So I'll record the porn, right? And I would record the porn off that little shitty-ass camera. I'd go to Walmart, Get the 500 pack of CDs, you know, and I'd sell them for $10 to the apartment kids, right? And, man, I'm 11 years old. I'm coming the fuck up. Like, I'm coming up. 11, 12, I was doing that shit for like a whole year and a half, you know? And, I mean, shit, you do the math. You know what I'm saying? You do the math, you know? $10 a CD, 500 CDs, like, you know what I mean? And I was selling them bitches like crack. I'm talking about, I had a new video like every three days. I'm not even fucking playing. Like, every three days, like, hey, you know, I got new, you know, woo-woo. So... I was doing that for a while. My mom caught me, beat the shit out of me. I left the camera in the restroom, and then she thought, I was like, you jacking off in my house, about your boy, you're recording boy. I was like, no, mom, I sell it. What? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was more like, I should have just, I was just better off saying that, you know, it was the, I was jacking off to that shit. After that, I went back to wash the cars because she took my camera away from me. So, at this point, I'm 12, I'm 13 now, right? I'm in middle school, okay? So. Again, I was rocking French toast. Everybody was rocking polos. You know what I mean? So I'm here I am rocking French toast and like I'm just, you know, whatever, like academy shoe. I'm busted, yo. You know what I mean? I literally showed up my sixth grade year with hoes on my shoes. Like I'm not even fucking playing. So of course when you see other kids, of course when you see like other people have nicer stuff, you're like, damn, like, why can't I be that? Or why I gotta wear my shirt, it's green. I wash it one day, then it's yellow the next day, cause that bitch faded over one night. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was me, you know, and I used to be so mad. So I started selling candy, like, you know, just little Jolly Ranchers. I go buy a Jolly Rancher pack, you know, and me and my dad didn't get along at this time. Me and my dad were never close. He would give my sister $10 for lunch and he would not give me shit. And lunch wasn't free for me. You know what I mean? So I had to come up with a way to make money. So like I said, I'd go to the dollar store, take a dollar. I get fucking the 12 bags of blow pops. I was selling three for a dollar. You know what I mean? So I was coming up three dollars, four dollars or whatever, you know, this and that. Met up with this one dude. Uh, he was like, hey, man, you know, I'm trying to get rid of some Reggie. Shout out my homeboy. I ain't gonna say his name, you know, but he's like, yo, I'm trying to get rid of some Reggie. And I was all like, what the fuck? I can't, what the fuck am I doing? I ain't selling drugs, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I make money off candy. And then he showed me like, you know, like, I mean, $40, $40 ain't a lot of money. But when you see them ones and you're 12, you're like, damn, boy, you, you bred it up. Like, <laughs> you got the bread, right? So uh, I just remember like, yeah, 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 well, you know, whatever. Like, what do I do? So he showed me the way he told me how to do it. And then uh, me and him just started. We just started moving Reggie together. Boom, boom, boom. We're just moving Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. And at that point, at this time, I was buying breakfast for my family. Because we lived by, you know what I'm saying? I had go ride a bike. We were down the street from a little donut shop. Remember that shit? Uh, we was down the street. So at this point, I'm buying breakfast for my family. I'm buying my own shit. I'm buying my own clothes. You know what I mean? So I'm 13 years old. I'm already like, you know what I'm saying? I'm buying my own shit. Well... I already knew what I wanted. I already knew, man, fuck this weed shit. There's more money in, 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 in Coke. Like, 
let's get into coke, you know? So he's like, man, I don't know, that's risky, da 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 Fuck that. And I stacked up, I stacked up, I stacked up. Now, I saved up enough for the money, I meet up with this one guy. And this one guy was like, hey, bro, you know, I can get you like, you know, I can get you a whole half a thing, you know, for da 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 woo woo And I was all like, all right, what's up? Like, I'm like, what's up? Like, shit. Damn, for real? Like, seven for a half? Like, what the fuck? You know, and I was like, bet, you know? So I saved up the money, da 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 We give him the money. He goes, yo, meet me right here down the block. All right, cool. This man never came back, bro. I gave this man $7,000, bro. You know what I mean? Never came back. I was like, I told my other homeboy, and I was all like, bitch, the man ain't never came back. You know, da 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 And he's like, what the fuck? Why would you... Who sells a half a thing for seven? I was like, I don't know. It sounded like a good price. That's a steal. He's like, nah, bro, you, you know, you got hit. So I can't find this man. I could not find him, you know? And I was sitting there like, damn, all right. Like, that's fucked up. Like, all right, that's fucked up, you know? So here I am, three star. Bullshit ass. Bro. I was 13, bro. Yeah, I was 13 because I was going, that was my eighth grade summer. That was my eighth grade summer and I was going into um, high school. At that point, I said, fuck it, let's, okay, let's get back to work. Went back, started selling Reggie again, whatever. Little bullshit ass shit, you know. Saved up enough, another little amount of money. That's when I got my first little cutie pie, you know. So I was like, all right, well, bet. I took that, I upped it, I started making some money or whatever. I ended up seeing that dude on Shepherd in 19. So I was just like, oh my God, that's God. You know what I mean? And at this point, you know, I was praying every day. God wasn't in my favor. I was not thinking about God. Who's God? I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I need money. You know what I mean? When you're involved in the street, you don't want to do it, but you have to do it. But if somebody play with you and play with your name, you have to do that. There ain't no ands, ifs, or buts. Like, you have to. If not, then they're going to get you. You know what I mean? So, and I just remember putting the cotton swabs all in my mouth, hair net in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? I was wearing different size shoes. I wasn't even wearing, like, my normal size shoes. Like, I was like, man, it's like, it's go time. We're going in. Now I took my boy with me. That was the one who went half with me. And we ended up going in the house, right? So now we're walking the way up to the door. Yo, I kick his dough down, cock ready to pop it Taking everything out of this nigga pockets While my nigga in the back Holding his wife hostage, he screaming I get door, boom, get in the house, da 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 Give me my shit, do 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 right? Fuck, you can't call the cops, what you gonna call, what you gonna say? Somebody stole your drugs? Like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck, you know, so, whatever We hit the lick, boom Now, I got my money I mean, I didn't, I didn't get the money, money, you know what I'm saying? But like, I got shit worth my money When we went in the house Whatever, we took my shit, we took something, like he had a little bit of drugs, I mean, he had a little bit of money, but he had a lot of jewelry, you know, so I was taking all the jewelry, so I got my money back, damn near almost my money back, so I took that money, and then my other homeboy had his money, and uh, we bought our whole thing, we bought our whole thing, like the first, first one, we bought our whole thing, time passes, the dude that I robbed, he sent some people to come get me, right, well, and my homeboy too, oh, my other homeboy, he sent some people to come get us, right, taking the fact that after all that happened, this was about six months later. This was about six months later. So I was already moving. Like, I was already kind of moving, but I really wasn't, like, moving. So we go back to my homeboy's house, and I'm sitting there. And this is 2013. This is all 2013, right? I'm sitting on my homeboy's porch, and I tell my homeboy, I said, yo, man, I, I feel funny. Like, I, I feel funny. You know, he was just like, what do you mean? I was like, I don't know, bro. I just feel something don't feel right. Like, I, I, don't, I don't feel right. You know what I mean? And my homeboy already was involved with the dude who sent the dude to come rob us. Right? So, all four of us, I'm not even gonna sit here and lie, I'm not even gonna say nobody, all four of us went some shit because of, with him. Because he stole from me and whatever my homeboy had with him, whatever, you know what I mean? But I just know I come back around, I said, I feel funny, I don't know, I'm sitting there on the porch, I just remember sitting on the porch, I had a blunt, I was smoking a blunt, I remember I was like, man, I feel funny, man, I see a fucking black charger pull up, man, they masked down, right? Shotgun, roll it out, oozied out, all that shit. Before you know it, pop, pop, pop. They letting them bitches go. I'm chopping. Boy, I got about chopped out. I came back. Say no names because his mom told me not to, whatever. He passed away. All right? I'm fucked up. Like, damn, I'm, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucked up. I went to his funeral and his people were just like, 
hey man, he told me, you know, you were a good worker, you know, this and that, da 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 da. I said, well, I mean, I think I do, right? I think I do okay, you know? He was like, okay, well, I'm going to front you a whole five. So I'm like, what? You going to front me a, a whole five? And he was just like, yeah, I'm going to front you a whole five. Don't see me. Don't call me. He goes, I'll see you every month. That's it. You know? Nothing. Like, he didn't want to hear from me. No, nothing. Bad. Say less. All right, cool. Now here I am. I'm fucking, I'm 14 years old now with a $100,000 tab. You know what I mean? Like, like it was like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like. I was 14 with a $100,000 tab. You know what I mean? So I was like, shit, all right, well, fuck it. Let's go, you know? So now here it goes. Here's the rise. Here's the rise. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was moving, whatever. We was doing our thing. Everybody was doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Block was eating. Everything was good, right? Everything was good, whatever. The people that I was involved with, you know, it wasn't, it was a good relationship. But again, you got to think about it like this. This was 14 all the way to 17, right? At that time, and my, my headspace was different. When you're in that hood mentality, the only thing you know is like hood shit. You know what I mean? So you're prone to know that your homeboy's gonna rob from you and you're gonna beat him up. Like, that's normal to you. You know what I mean? Like, or like, it's, you, you're just in that hood mentality, man. And, and at that time, I wanted to get NB right here under my eyes. I wanted to get Monty Beach under my eyes. You know what I mean? Like, I, that's where my head was at, you know, at that time. A lot of people from the area, you know, my hood or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, understand this. Everybody in there, I'm not knocking nobody. Of course not. You know, y'all live, y'all live the way that should get it how y'all get it. I'm always gonna respect it, you know. I just wish we had an OG to show us the way. You know what I'm saying? Like I wish we had somebody to show us the way and like, you know, but that's all we knew. You know what I'm saying? Like that's all we knew. You know what I mean? So everybody's doing a job. Whatever. Now that I'm on my own lane, we're getting it right. Now, I've saved up enough money, right? I've saved up enough money, and in my head, in my head, I'm like, okay, it's time. It's time for me to go. Like, it's time for me to leave. Like, I'm done. Like, I, I ain't selling no more. I'm done with this shit. I'm not doing that because a former friend of mine had just got shot 13 times. Right? New this morning, a stranded driver trying to fix a flat tire ends up robbed, shot, and left for dead on the side of the road. Now his attackers are on the run. Let's get right to Tim. What's alive on the northeast side of town? Tim, how's... Shout out Eric San Miguel. I'm so glad that you're here with us, bro. I'm so glad that you're still here with us, bro. He got shot 13 times. My boy Manuel got shot. Shots fired in this parking lot, and Manuel Sandoval was killed, shot multiple times. Our Anusha Rasta is live in downtown Houston, where she just spoke with the victim's sister about this verdict. Anusha? 21-year-old Arturo Reyes was originally charged with murder. And Emmanuel Sandoval was killed while, when he was gunned down in the parking lot of a small grocery store in North Houston. Sandoval was shot at least twice in the head. It happened on September 11th. Police say the shooting happened because of road rage. Emmanuel Sandoval was 18 years old when he died. His sister told me the family is upset with the conviction and the sentencing. They say they don't think justice was served. Rest in peace, Manuel. You went out like a thug, bro. Everybody was dying that year. You know what I mean? The only thing I could think about was just like, I'm next. I lost 13 people that year. I'm next. That's what my head was like, I'm next. So I'm not going to say that I manifested everything that happened to me, no. But if that was where my headspace was at. Everybody around me was just, everybody was dying. Everybody was dying. And um, so, you know, I, I always tell my mom. See, my mom didn't know. She would cry sometimes to be like, why, you know what I'm saying, am I a bad mother or... You know, it was stuff like that, but it was never that. It was, we don't have money. Why are you complaining? I, I'm, I'm feeding the house and we're making money. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, but she was like, I, you know, I never wanted you to go down. Right? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? My headspace at that time was different, Noe, because I'm different now. You know what I'm saying? My headspace was different at that time. So, like I said, everything that I did was never to be a hood. I never went to go kick door and was like, Hey, I man, look what we did. Woo, woo, pa, ah, like, nah, I, no, I did what I had to do. Come back, I was gone, got my money, I'm gone. You know what I mean? I was just buy my money. You know? Well, like I said, I saved up enough amount of money. I said, man, this is it. I'm going to California. Fuck everything. Fuck school. Fuck all that. Like I'm leaving. You know what I mean? And I was only showing up to school because the girl that I was with at the time, I was going for her. You know, to see her, and then plus my mom was like. You know, mijo, you got to graduate, mijo, like, graduate. You know, and I was like, yeah, you know. But I remember that day. Like, I re literally remember that day. Thursday. I said, hey. I said, hey, it's time. I told my sister, I said, Crystal, it's time. What do you mean? I said, it's time. 
I'm leaving. Man, shut up, Greg. Okay. You know, okay. I'm 17 years old. I got $30,000 on me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm thinking I'm finna go hit the movie shit because this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make movies. I wanted to make films. I wanted to be an actor. You know what I mean? Like, I, that's what I wanted. So I'm like, fuck this. I'm gonna go do this. Friday morning came. I already had a whole brick. I had a whole thing left. I had a whole thing left, right? So I told my plug, I said, hey, I'm done. He goes, you know, you're not done. You're not done. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not done until I say you're done. And I said, okay, well, I'm letting you know I'm done. You know what I mean? And I've always felt like he respected that about me because everybody else, he would bitch around. But with me, I always hold my ground and was like, no, nah, I'm going to do what I'm going to do at my time and when I want. Like, you're not going to tell me what I'm going to do, you know? So he was, like, I'm, he was like, you're not done. You're not done until I say you're done. And I was just like, I'm done. And I was like, I got one more hit lined up. I'm going to go take you your money and that's it, you know? And he was just all like, you know what? Go. Go. Like, you know what I'm saying? If that's how you want to go. So I'm thinking like, damn, shit, is he going to do something? But I was like, nah, fuck it, you know, well, you know, whatever. So I told him who I was going to go take that thing to. No, you're not. You better not take it in. You da 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 I'm about to make a $10,000 profit. Fuck what you say. Like, I got to get this money. So I go Friday morning, right? da 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 grab the work, put it in my backpack. I take off. I'm driving. I go all the way to the Southwest. I'm in the Southwest. The dude who I was supposed to take it to, I knock on his door. I knock three times. Boom, boom, boom. I check, turn around, make sure nobody was there. I open this way. I see a gun right here to my forehead. He got a gun pressed to my forehead. And he's like, little homie, lay down. Lay down, little homie, lay down right now. And I was all like, damn. I said, God damn, Wode. I was like, God damn. You know? He's like, come on, lay down. And I was like, and in my head, I thought about it. You won't have to kill me here. Or if I don't come back with that shit, they gonna kill me there. So I'm fucked regardless. You know? So I just remember... At that moment, I was like, Monty Beach. I just said, Monty Beach. <laughs> Boom, popped him. Boom, the gun went off. Pow. I thought I, I thought I got shot in my ear, like, Pff. and I was like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, oh, I was like, oh, shit. I ain't gonna lie. He was beating my ass. At that time, I was praying. I was probably weighing about like 160, 170 at the time. You know what I mean? And, um... He was three hundred pound dude. He beat, beating me the fuck up. Boom, boom. I had knots all on my head, and uh, I don't even know how we got to the street. I don't know how we got to the street. I just remember, like God put the brick there while I'm getting my head just smashed. Right, God had put a brick there, and I just remember grabbing a brick and boom, he knocked. Right, I just remember hitting him. Boom, whatever. I take off. I got blood on my shirt and shit. And there was neighbors outside. I went in this house because I was gonna rob him. Because, you know, fuck him, you know. He didn't have no money. He didn't have shit. Bro, this man had nothing. Like, it was an empty-ass house, like a band. He knew what he was doing. Like, they was going to kill me. You know what I'm saying? Like, legit, they was going to kill me, you know?